Well, again, Happy New Year, and thank you for joining us on the National Real Estate Cafe. It's Don Gettling here. No Gino yet, but he'll be back next week. But we continue to give you some great updates on a regular basis. So today, we're going to jump in and talk about student debt. That's right, student debt. The good news is, you know, the bad news is we continue to have more and more student debt. There's just no way around it when you want to go to school these days. So the average amount of student debt is at 18500 in 2016. Now, a lot of you are going, woo, I wish it was only 18500 because I know there's a lot of them that are six figures. But that is the medium amount over the last few years. And this first chart basically shows that almost half the households have some form of student debt. That's quite a bit. All right. So basically what this slide here is talking about is that household debt has steadily grown, but now it's actually decreased some. Luckily, it was almost a 20% increase. Now it's down to about 6.5% since 2015 in one form or another. So that is good news. The only problem is income-based repayment plans have helped some. But a lot of the millennials, their income has not kept up with their student debt because we haven't had big raises. So it's made it a little bit more difficult. But because of income-based repayment plans, the amount of delinquencies has decreased. So it's right around 11% now. So it's not as bad as it used to be. All right, this final um, chart here basically talks about, um, again, the 6.2%. You can see how high that it was uh, growing back in 2006, 2007, and then it decreased. And also, the amount of household debt, um, excluding student loans, that decreased back, of course, in 2009 through 2014. Nobody was acquiring debt. They're just trying to survive. Now it's gone back up to overall housing debt is about 5%. So right now, housing debt is there. With income-based repayment plans, it's become a little bit less. Also, if you have equity in your home, you might want to look into that either for yourself or for your children to help them maybe utilize your, the equity position in your home to eliminate some of the housing debt and maybe reduce the amount of expense per month. Just an option. You can always reach out to us at donandgino.com or get the sent right to your phone by texting NREC to the number 58885.